Okay, a few tips. This audi this projector is not 5.1 uh, surround sound capable. And YouTube defaults on fire sticks to playing 5.1 surround sound on YouTube movies, on the movies and TV show sections. Now, in the regular YouTube uh, section of videos, it works fine. But if you try to watch any of their movies, they automatically enable 5.1 surround sound. So while the movie is playing, you just simply have to go into the settings of like um, where the movie plays, uh, right next 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 to like the play bar. I'll show you what I mean. I've got a speaker hooked up to the bottom of it over here. Introducing Discover Online Privacy Protection. We'll help remove your personal data from 10 popular people search websites. Alright. So it's the middle of the day as you can see. It's like nine it's actually like nine to ten in the morning right now. I don't have any blinds on these windows. It's super bright in here. Um, but when you're watching a video on YouTube, simply go up to this section over here all the way to the right. They had this little gear icon. This brings up the settings menu and then you can turn off 5.1 surround sound right there. And then your audio will start to work on the YouTube movies. And it's surprising what YouTube has available on there right now. Um, they have a lot of good movies to be honest. It's, it's come a long way. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, I also had the same issue with my Xbox. Uh, the Xbox was getting no audio whatsoever when I plugged it in. I had to go into the settings of the Xbox and reset audio settings. Once you do that, go to settings, go to general area and hit volume audio output. Go over to audio testing and details, then hit the reset audio button right there. This menu right here will show you what your device audio is compatible with inside the Xbox. So that's a great way to find out that, you know, what's compatible or not visually instead of having to look into the manual. Reset audio, you hit reset, that simple. So it's not 5.1 uh, surround sound capable. Or compatible I will show you not that that really matters but I will show you um, what the normal menu looks like so this is the normal menu of the actual projector it has iOS casting and Android casting now I tried the iOS cast and I was getting a pretty good lag um, lagging up a, a good amount normally I don't cast because that's normally what happens um, no matter what kind of casting I'm doing. Um, but you have two HDMI's and an AV, the audio and the VGA for, you know, standard computer monitors that may not have HDMI outputs. Um, I guess you can plug in a USB device and it would play it could play off that device, uh, movies, photos, documents, or music. I haven't tried that yet. It has Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth to audio. Um, it has built-in Wi-Fi to support the Chrome, to support the, the casting features. And then this menu over here, the projector settings are pretty, uh, pretty damn good. They have this correction settings, like you can adjust this. And I adjusted this a lot because mine's at an angle over here. Um, but like screen scale, this is what I adjusted a lot. Like you could have all these types of tools in here to adjust the way the screen is 
sitting, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can change the image mode. I guess it's gonna change the, the color or the brightness to it. Dynamic contrast. Color temperature, white balance, color correction, game mode. Oh, wow, there's a game mode? I didn't even know that. Now I'm going to try that and see if my uh, my Fortnite works better. Just because normally the games have a little bit of a latency with uh, controller uh, feedback. You know, you, you look to the left and it takes a full second before it actually does it. Or like half a second. It's just pretty laggy. So let's see if that does anything. Go back to the game. I don't know. Uh, it feels like it's a little bit less laggy. It's still, it's still laggy. Left, right, here, look. Left, right. Oh shit, fucking wolf. Alright guys, I gotta hop off. But it's a good projector, it's bright. And, um... Uh, I'd say it's worth the money. It looks like they dropped it in price a little bit too. Uh, compared to what I paid for it last week. Uh, it looks like they dropped it by $50. I don't know if they're gonna keep it that way, but it's worth... It's definitely worth that price point.